Here is an illustration of the Zipf distribution. Assume that the English language has n equals 1 million words. Using the Zipf distribution with s equals 1, find the frequency of occurrence of the top eight words in the language. Now the two parameters here, namely the 1 million and the s equals 1, those were made up. Okay, you would actually want to um, go to a dictionary and figure out exactly how many words there are in the English language and this you might want to fit by uh, maximum likelihood or some other procedure but I'm just going to assume that these are actually what's going on just to illustrate how the zip distribution works. So the distribution of the random variable x which represents the rank of the x, x most frequently used word is f of x is equal to c divided by x and c is that constant that makes things uh, sum to 1 and that's for x equals 1, 2 on up to a million. The value of the constant c can be calculated in maple with the following statement c is equal to the floating point evaluation of 1 divided by the sum of 1 over i as i goes from 1 up to a million and that will yield a c value of 0 0.069479 etc. Well once you have that c in place as this constant you now have a distribution and if you calculate f of 1 you will get 0 0.0695 and if v is the most popular word then that occurs about 7% of the time in the English language. And then if you go to the second one maybe that's of that might drop to 0.03, the third most popular word might be and, that's about 2%, a, etc. And as you go down to the, the eighth most popular word, if that turns out to be you, then that should occur, looks like uh, almost 1% of the time the, uh, words, the word would be you. So this accounts for the most popular words in the English language and of course once you get out to uh, word number 1 million or word number 999,999, they're going to have tiny, tiny, tiny um, frequencies of occurrence. So is this a good fit? I don't know. Depends on the text. Maybe for a particular author, um, this might be the frequency of the words. Maybe for a different author, it might not be. But that's what the Zipf distribution here is trying to capture.